Beardo Benjo. Video games with zombies in them are cool. That's a well-known fact. They were cool when I was little and they're still cool now. The fact that Walking Dead Saints and Sinners has just surpassed 29 million in revenue shows you that people still love killing zombies. They're just fun to kill. And in VR, it's even more fun to kill a zombie. I still remember being incredibly excited for my Xbox 360 because I wanted to play Dead Rising. That and George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead, the whole of the Dead series actually, are two of my favourite zombie pieces of media. And today I'm playing something in VR that looks like a blend of the two. I'm going to try out a game called Let's Go Chopping. You get it? Like, shopping, but chopping. This is a zombie game for the Quest 2 or Quest 1 that you can grab on SideQuest right now. There's a free demo for it and it's set in a supermarket or shopping centre and you're having to try and do your shopping. So you've got a little shopping list, you need to buy these things, but there's also zombies there and they're getting in the way. So you're doing shopping and you're doing chopping at the same time. <laughs> this game won't break the bank. There is a demo on SideQuest, so you can check it out if you're not ready to jump in and pay for it. But if you do like what you see today, the game is $3. $3 is all it will set you back. So if it looks good, consider going and checking it out. This will be my first time playing it. I'm a sucker for anything with zombies in it. I just love zombies. I love chopping them up. It's just fun. So hopefully this captures that feeling of chopping zombies up. I'm really hoping so. But for $3, I really can't complain. That's about £2.75 UK currency. This is Let's Go Chopping on the Quest 2. Let's check it out. Okay, so immediately this looks a little bit more like Phasmophobia than a zombie shopping mall. But I guess this is the back of house area. Whoa, look at that. This game's got some physics. Now, I should point out the game is early access, so anything you see in here might be buggy, it might have kind of visual glitches. It's still being worked on, it's not the final release. If you pay the $3 on Itch.io to get the game, then you're getting the full game when it leaves early access. You're just buying in at a lower price. Um, I'm just gonna get stuck in. Pull lever to begin. I've done it, I've pulled the lever. Now what? Uh, okay. This appears to be your first time playing. It is. It's recommended you complete the tutorial before continuing. You can skip it by selecting this button. No, I'm not going to skip the tutorial. Oh, zombie kill of the week. Who's got the zombie kill of the week? I want to see this. This is like zombie land. Come on. Zombie kill of the week. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. My hand's gone up there. That was actually really cool. He threw the sword and he did the thing. I kind of want to do that. Um, I want zombie kill of the week. I've got to do the tutorial first. Grab the shopping list in front of you. All right, I need to get three rolls of duct tape. Complete shopping lists to earn cash for more weapons and upgrades. You need to find three duct tape rolls in this workshop. Small weapons fit on your waist holsters. Cool. Big weapons fit on your shoulder holsters. I can't see those, but I'll have to just believe they're there. Place the bat in either shoulder ho holster now, okay. Nice, you can move around now. Find duct tape rolls, place them in the shopping cart, place the shopping cart in the red area by the door, then press the button to complete your first shopping trip. Oh, this is, this is very, um, very bone worksy. really cool physics here. The physics are kind of working the way they should. Oh, okay, I've dropped my knife, but that's... I'm I'm very easily impressed. If you've watched any of my videos at this point, you'll probably know that I start playing and I'm immediately like, whoa, because I just love video games. Um, oh, there's a zombie over there. Let's go get him, shall we? Oh, you're a shambler. Oh my God, what the... <laughs> okay, he was quite aggressive. I, I didn't... I didn't like... Okay, you can grab them. And you can stab them. That's very Walking Dead, isn't it? Okay, he's dead. I don't have to worry about him anymore. Um, let's put some duct tape in the shopping basket. You can throw them in. That's good. Alright, can I... Oh, can I have that back? Please? Thank you. Oh, that's gone far now. Oh, he didn't like that, did he? 
this is actually really cool for three for three dollars you know if you just want to smash some zombies oh don't get back up you idiot can I pick up the chair oh it just keeps it's the zombie that keeps on giving what's this okay I can't actually do anything with that really uh, he didn't care about that either Oh, I really hit him. Okay, I want my knife back, please. Shut up. <laughs> that didn't go in his head, but it still did the trick. Um, okay, there's a duct tape there. One for the trolley. A little bit too far. I'm trying to do cool stuff, and I'm just not good enough yet. I need lots of practice. Can you move out of the way, please? Thank you. This has got some surprisingly good physics. Um, things don't... Like, the zombies don't seem to have much weight to them. Um, but you can move them around pretty pretty nicely. Let me kill one and see how much they weigh. See if I can actually pick them up. Hey, look, it's a smaller version of the same zombie. And they're both walking in the same way. Thank you. Killed your son and then they killed you. Okay. How heavy are they? Okay, so they're not... Like, so the, the weight of things... That's interesting. What were those little lines? Is that kind of like how far something's going to go? I I dig this. You can tell whoever's making this. Oh, has really put some thought into it. Stay down. That's it. And you. Oh, I'm just going to throw the zombie and then he's despawned. All right, I need to get some duct tape, don't I? Stop mucking around. Came back for my sunglasses and supplies to discover my employees kept stocking and running the store, even through an apocalypse. I might stick around and try milking the situation to make money off other survivors. I'll take that. So, what are you doing still here? Look, I've got your mate. Take that. This shows immediate great promise. Um, okay, let's have that. Let's have that. There we go, that in there. Um, oh no. It's really easy to just grab whatever's in your shoulder. <laughs> the way they get up is ridiculous. Really easy to grab whatever's in your shoulder holster and just and just wail on these zombies. Okay, you can't two hand it looks like. Right, so I've got my stuff in the shopping trolley. I just need to push it into the You know what? Oh, I was hoping I could use the thing and... Oh! He's like one of them weeble things. He like wobbles, but he doesn't fall down. Oh, that sucked. Uh, if they can get some kind of actual damage into this, so zombie heads exploding, that kind of thing, they could really be onto something. Right, don't mind me. Bit my shopping, okay. Place all items on the list in the car, and then move the car into the designated area. I've done that. Oh, I'm not waiting for any more zombies. Press the button when it's green. Complete your shopping trip. Your cash? 50 quid! Right, and then I can use the cash to buy something. Okay, so here's my modes. Practice area, shopping mode, and tutorial. Oh, hello. Clerk, stalk boy, assistant manager, Shift supervisor and the, the store manager. Oh my god, what's this? I think this is for tactical vests. This game has quite a lot of stuff going on in it for a $3 game. Okay, I'm going to buy a pistol. Oh my god, what's all this? I've just... Gold hands, 50,000! Okay, so I now own a knife, a bat and a pistol. I've got no more money, so I can't buy anything else. I really want a shotgun, though. All right, let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Complete more consecutive shopping trips to unlock higher difficulties. Oh, click that right in. You got to click it right in. Oh, it's a proper, it's a proper shopping. Oh, okay. Okay, is that loaded now? Now it is. Ammo. Take my ammo with me. What, what do I need? Beans and water, I think that is. Put that in there. All right, put my put that in my holster. Put that in my trolley. Okay, let's go shopping. Da 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 da. 
Going on a shopping trip. Right, got some water. Need that. Is that one need? Yeah. You stay back. I'm just doing my shopping. I'm not interested in you. You know, you haven't got to be interested in me. I just, I don't even have to worry about you. You know, I'm just doing my shopping. You're a minor inconvenience. Ah, you can blow off the heads. That's good. Right. Get that bottle of water there. Di -di 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 -di. Oh, hello. What we got here? Can of meatballs. Chef's special. I'll take them. Don't know if I need them, but I'll take them. Is that a zombie I can hear? Oh. Oh. Don't push my own trolley into me, you shit. Alright, I'm not going to bring this trolley with me. It's making lots of noise. There's so much ammo here. Ah, oh, there we go. Eject the clip. Very nice. Oi. 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 You made me drop my water. It's a little framey at times, getting some, some frame rate issues. Um, but it's not overly distracting. Oh, you stupid. It's not ruining the experience. Um, but it's, it almost feels like when the zombies load in, you get a little bit of slowdown. What a great idea, though. Uh, do I need that? No, that's not on the shopping list. I don't think I've got a run button. No, I don't think I do. Hello. Oh, I've missed. Oh, I've missed. Oh, a terrible shot in this game. Let's see if I can lay it, line it up. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was a better shot. That was a much better shot. Loads of ammo. There we go. That's a big old can. What is that? Baked beans. Yeah, we need that. They're important in the apocalypse. I wouldn't mind a run button, you know. Can you just shop forever? Well, I guess until I run out of ammo or I can't defend myself anymore. Oh no. Um, yeah, take that. Alley up. Nearly. Alright, okay, let's put my gun down for a second. There we go. Beans. Oh. Beans! He's done it. He's got the beans. What's this one? Is that dog food? Woof. Yeah, I'll have that. Oh, is it going in? No, you made me miss. It's your bloody fault. I just wanted the woof. I know my shopping trolley is over here somewhere. If that went in, I'll never know really. But imagine if that went in. You've got to keep trying, it, yeah. Throw them. Where'd that come from? Throw them all to the other side of the shopping centre. Huh. Alright, this one's going in the trolley, I can feel it. Huh. I hit my mic. Should probably stop throwing them. What's this? That's got to be worth taking. <laughs> this is quite similar to when I actually go shopping. I always go over budget, you know, and I just end up buying far too much. Stop it. Are you dead? Up you get. Come on. Can you... Please. I guess the different uh, levels of kind of um, what kind of uh, employee they are must impact how much damage they can take. Where did I leave my gun? Is that Gatorade? What's that called? Thunderbolt. That's, that's the kind of drink you need. When you're gaming all night long, face covered in Cheetos. Stay back. Oh, you can do it with either hand. That's really nice. That would have been cool. Mm, can't pull it off though. That was pretty cool. <laughs> or maybe. The physics are quite good. I'm wondering if you can just... Come on. No. Probably not. Because that would be surely the best kill ever. Check this out. No, that wasn't as cool as I 
wanted to be. Okay, I'm going to go. I think I've got everything I need. Let's get my wolf. Can't have the dog going hungry. Right. Stay in there. Oh, actually. Bugger. Right. Stop it. I'm trying to go home. Thank you. Let me come through. That's, oh, that's it. Oh my god. It's making a lot of noise. Oh, he's unhappy. <laughs> Don't you dare. Why is that one so fast? Don't like him. And he's getting back up. Yeah, and he's not anymore. Alright, that's really noisy when you push that around. That's absolutely insane. Where's the button? Pull the lever to cash out. Ah, oh, here we go. Current multiplier times one. Oh, I guess that's because I'm on easy. There we go. Shopping. Wait, what happened? Normal. Oh, did I just change the difficulty? Oh, no. I lost all my stuff. I lost all my stuff. I pressed the wrong button. Get in there, stay in there. Ah. Oh god, I almost fell over. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't do this to me. Oh my god. Alright, yeah, stay on easy for as long as you can. Things get real when you start up in the difficulty. Oh, my trolley's over there. Over the fence, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Stay back. Three bullets, three bullets. One. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Okay. One more water, I can get the hell out of it. Oh, they did. I didn't like that. Ah! <laughs> Do you have a problem, mate? Can you. What's happening right now? <laughs> Just swing until he's dead. If he ever dies, it's like a fish. Oh, please stop. Whatever you're doing, strange break dance. It's not for me. Thank you. Just one more water and I should be good. Come on, come on. I think I've got everything else I need. There's definitely three packets in there. There's definitely three... Three tins in there. Well, that's good, yeah? You know, if it's not, tough. I'm going home. I'm taking my shopping out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> it's smashing into everything. Leave me be. Right. God, that's so noisy. That is so not right. Cash out. Is this the right thing to do? Please let me leave. A hundred quid! Is that all I got? That's pretty cool, I guess. And I do like the look of the hammer. And I do like... I'm going to have the hammer. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of unlockables here. You can even change your gloves. I've got the desert camo at the moment. I kind of like the look of flames. Flames look cool. Gold is fancy. And there's some secret ones here as well. I could even get a solid gold shopping cart if I can get a hundred thousand dollars. That's a ridiculous amount of dollars. This is this is really fun. It has a little bit of a frame rate issue. It is a little bit choppy when you're in there and there's quite a few zombies coming at you. But for three dollars or two pounds seventy-five, it's it's good fun. Um, don't play it on normal because it's just immediately horrible. Um, yeah, it's it's. It's fun. It's a good way to come and blow off some steam, and I can see it growing into something pretty special, considering it's only early access at the moment. If they keep working on it and tinkering with stuff like the physics, because the physics are good, you know? The physics are actually pretty good. Sometimes it looks a bit wonky, but the fact that, you know, things interact with objects in the way they should, that's, that's pretty cool for a quest game. There's not a lot of quest games that are doing that, and the ones that are doing it are getting my attention because, you know, they're trying to do what Boneworks or Half-Life have done on PC, and that's impressive for a Quest title, given the power of the processor in the Quest. So I've got a lot of time for companies and devs who are doing that kind of stuff.
come on. Like, one day I'm going to throw it in and it's going to be amazing. Shut up. Shut up, you. Oh, I like this hammer. This hammer's good. Yeah, I really like this. I think if you enjoy zombie games, you're a fan of stuff like Dead Rising, maybe Dead Island. Get off. Um, or even Walking Dead. Or maybe you want Walking Dead, but you can't afford it just yet. This is a cool stopgap. Something to fill the time in between. And then keep an eye on in the future when it updates. Because as I say, early access... Jesus, dramatic. Um, it will continue to evolve and they'll continue to add things to the game, so I can only see it getting better. Ugh. At the moment, I believe it's just this one shopping centre as well that you come into. Um, there's the shopping mode where you have to try and do shopping lists, and then there is a free mode where you can just come in and run around and do whatever you like. Bonk! But I've been treating it like that anyway. This is Let's Go Chopping, available now on side quest in early access for the measly price, oh my god, of $3.00. Personally, I think it's well worth that. Good fun. He's still alive. Yeah, good fun. Great idea. Trying to do that Dawn of the Dead thing. Um, and for the most part, it really works. A few frame rate issues, but on the whole, well worth it. What a shot. That was, whew, that was, that was nice. I appreciate that very much. I always imagined throwing a knife at a zombie would be cool, but then when it just hits him in the face, and they don't react. The coolness fades away so fast. Die. Die. Oh. Delayed reaction. Die. Oh, no, he's pissed. <laughs> Get. What are you doing? He's lost his mind. I'm going to pull him around like a puppet. <laughs> I can pull him around. Okay, I've got this one on a leash. Come here, you. Oh, no. <laughs> this is quite chaotic. Make sure you've got a lot of room. Zombie. Just what I want. Oh. 